Escaping trouble. Understanding to be in the clear. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the fascinating world of English language learning. Today, we're exploring a very interesting phrase, to be in the clear. This expression is widely used in English conversations, and understanding it can really help you sound more like a native speaker. So, let's get started and uncover the meaning and use of this phrase. To be in the clear means to be free from suspicion, danger, or any form of trouble. It's often used when someone has been in a situation where they could have been blamed for something or faced some kind of problem. But now the situation has resolved, and they are no longer at risk. While the exact origins of to be in the clear are a bit murky, it's generally believed to stem from situations where being in an open, clear area meant safety, as opposed to being in a forest or among obstacles where dangers could be hidden. Over time, it evolved into a metaphor for being out of trouble. Let's look at some examples to better understand how to use this phrase in real-life conversations. After the investigation, it was determined that Sam was in the clear, as there was no evidence linking him to the crime. Once we pay off the last of our debt, we'll finally be in the clear financially. I checked the report for errors multiple times, so I think we're in the clear to submit it. There are a few phrases in English that convey meanings similar to, to be in the clear. These include, off the hook, no longer in a difficult situation or obligated to do something. Out of the woods, no longer in danger or difficulty, though this often implies that not all problems are completely resolved yet. And that wraps up our exploration of the phrase, to be in the clear. We hope this video has shed some light on how to use this expression effectively in your conversations and writings. Remember, learning idiomatic expressions is a great way to enrich your English and sound more like a native speaker. Thank you for watching, and see you in our next video where we'll uncover more secrets of the English language.